Hey there good people, my name is Scott and you are watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now we're going to learn how to normalize audio in DaVinci Resolve. This will keep the sound in your projects at a consistent level. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so I am on the edit page now in DaVinci Resolve where I have this rough cut of a video I put together. I'm happy with how everything is laid out in my timeline, but I notice that some parts of my audio are louder and quieter than others. Before you can make the proper adjustments to even everything out here, you have to understand a few concepts about how audio is measured in Resolve. So Resolve measures your audio in decibels relative to full scale, or DBFS for short, from negative infinity to zero, where zero represents the maximum audio peak that Resolve is able to accept where your audio will begin to clip. Generally, you want your voiceover audio to fit somewhere close to negative 10 DBFS on this scale. To show a visual representation of the audio levels, you can activate the mixer at the top right of Resolve here. Play back your audio and you can begin to see which parts of your recording fall where on the loudness scale. The meter is color coded in green, yellow, and red colors as a handy reference. The green area in the mixer's audio meter represents the range that quiet sound effects, background music, etc. should fit. The yellow area is the acceptable range for dialogue. And the red area at the top close to 0 dBFS is for loud sound effects as it approaches the maximum allowed audio range. Knowing these concepts, we can now normalize the audio knowing what level we want the audio to be at. So select all the voiceover clips in your timeline if that is what you're normalizing or the background music if that's what you're working with. And then right click the audio clips and hit normalize audio levels from the drop down menu. In the window that pops up, you can set the normalization mode. I typically keep this at Sample Peak Program. There are a variety of different options here, but to be quite honest, I'm unsure how each of them work individually, though Sample Peak Program tends to work fine. Next is the target level, which is the level at which the loudest peaks will be limited in your audio. We want the voiceover audio, for instance, to sit close to negative 10 dBFS. Or you can adjust this to negative 9 or negative 8 if the quietest parts of your audio consistently dip below the yellow in your mixer's audio meter. So that's what I've done in my case. I set mine to negative 9. So lastly, if you selected more than one audio clip to normalize on your timeline, you will have two options to set level. The first is relative, which will treat all the selected clips as if they're one clip, so that the highest peak level of all those selected clips is used to define and make the adjustment across all the clips. What you choose depends on your recording environment and if there is a significant change in the volume of each clip. If you have a number of different sound effects or sources, or if you change location at any point in the video, you're going to want to choose independent. In my case, since I recorded in two slightly different environments and there are changes in the adjustments required for each clip, I chose independent here. Once you've selected the options that you want, hit normalize here. And you will see that the loudness of each clip has been adjusted based on the peaks and the settings that you defined. That does it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a bit about how normalization works in Resolve and how you can use the mixer right on the edit page to gauge the relative loudness of your audio clips. If you did find this useful, please consider subscribing to the channel where I upload a video just like this one every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.